the Nightingale Mark Aiken sighed tonight retired, the Queen of Heaven with young Endymion stays. And now to Hesper it is given a while to rule the vacant sky, till she shall to her lamp supply a stream of brighter rays. Propitious send thy golden ray, thou purest light above. Let no false flame seduce to stray where gulf or steep lie it for harm. But let where music's healing charm may soothe afflicted love. To them, by many a grateful song in happier seasons vowed, these lawns, Olympia's haunts, belong, oft by yon silver stream we walked, or fixed, while Philomela talked, beneath yon copses stood. Not seldom, where the beech in boughs that rawless tower invade, we came, while her enchanting muse the radiant moon above us held, till, by a clamorous owl compelled, she fled the solemn shade. But hark! I hear her liquid tone. Now Hesper guide my feet. Down the red marl with moss o'ergrown, through yon wild thicket next the plain, whose hawthorns choke the winding lane which leads to her retreat. See the green space, on either hand enlarged it spreads around, see, in the midst she takes her stand, where one old oak his awful shade extends o'er half the level mead, enclosed in woods profound. Hark! How through many a melting note she now prolongs her lays, how sweetly down the void they float! The breeze their magic path attends. The stars shine out. The forest bends. The wakeful heifers graze. Woe ere thou art whom chance may bring to this sequestered spot, if then the plaintive siren sing, O oh softly tread beneath her bower, and think of heaven's disposing power, of man's uncertain lot. O oh think, o'er all this mortal stage, what mournful scenes arise, what ruin waits on kingly rage. How often virtue dwells with woe! How many griefs from knowledge flow! How swiftly pleasure flies! O sacred bird! Let me at eve, thus wandering all alone, thy tender counsel oft receive, bear witness to thy pensive airs, and pity nature's common cares, till I forget my own.